Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today to show you how to actually live sustainably on a carnivore diet. And so the tips that I'm going to be giving you today are what I have used to get back into carnivore because as many of you know, I started the carnivore, was totally religious about it for 90 days, had a hip replacement surgery, <laughs> consequently got COVID, dislike the taste of meat intensely as sometimes happens with COVID, your taste buds change in some way. And ever since I had that hip replacement several months back, it has been kind of hard for me to get back into carnivore because I realized that I was kind of doing it very strictly to begin with. And in terms of my lifestyle, I was doing it wrong because it got very boring. Most days I would just eat like McDonald's 100% beef cheeseburgers, actually cheeseburgers with no bun, no nothing on it, maybe a little bit of mustard and salt. And, and McDonald's burgers are 100% beef, so don't let anybody tell you they're not good carnivore fare. They're actually very good quality. But I would basically eat double cheeseburgers carnivore style for lunch, and then I would come home for dinner and maybe make another burger and, and or maybe a ribeye steak, something like that. Meanwhile, I was trying to feed Alan at the same time and it was horrible. I didn't feed him very well during that period and I didn't feed myself very well. So one of the tips to make carnivore sustainable that I cannot believe how much easier this makes it is to get your spouse on carnivore because then as a wife and mother, we always tend to think that food is our, our responsibility. And even though Alan said, will you just make your food in the evenings and I'll make mine, I never felt very good about that. So maybe a couple of weeks ago, I talked to Alan and said, would you be interested in trying out the carnivore for 30 days? And he said he would. And that has made all the difference in the world because he and I are both on the same page. We have adult kids, they're no longer in our home. So now we're both doing carnivore. But I will tell you, I can't sustain that boring carnivore where you eat the same things day after day after day. I need variety in my diet. And so for the past two weeks, we have really been doing this religiously, staying on carnivore, but I've done it in a much more kind of relaxed carnivore way. And so I've actually just gotten home from Aldi's and from Walmart. And yesterday I went to Costco. So I'll just show you a few of the things that I purchased that are help making the carnivore diet easier or the carnivore eating plan, because I don't think of it as a diet. I think of it maybe more like a carnivore lifestyle. And I have noticed tremendous health benefits from it. The number one being I no longer suffer from IBS at all. It is life changing that alone and other benefits, which if you'd like to see another video, maybe after I've completed 30 days of this more relaxed carnivore lifestyle, let me know in the comment section because I would love to share with you the benefits that I've experienced in my second first 30 days. Okay, let me show you a few of the things that I bought at Aldi. And these are frozen cheese fries. Look at that. And they have no batter or anything like that. They're very, very clean. They just contain milk, salt, and enzymes. Basically, you fry these up in a pan in butter and they taste crispy and wonderful and delicious. I bought two of those. I also bought some cheese wraps because I've decided that one of the things we used to love eating and Alan loves, and I love too, is like tacos. And these cheese wraps make it wonderful to be able to wrap your taco meat, your cheese in a cheese wrap. And these come out very chewy and crisp in the microwave, just follow the directions on the back. I also got a Parmesan one just because they only had two of the cheddar cheese ones left. My son is coming tonight, and so I really want to make him a little taco with these cheese wraps. And if you'd like to see me make that recipe in a video, let me know because, you know, I think it seems very much like a normal everyday recipe, but it is carnivore, which is wonderful. Now I also purchased for $10 a little, never any, it says sliced ham. Look at all those slices there. My husband loves ham. And so we will have that probably two or three times this week. And sometimes it is nice to put like um, some cheese sauce on top. And this is from Aldi and it's their garlic and herbs, Alouette garlic and herbs. And it is a very clean cheese sauce, basically just with all the ingredients you would want it to have, no sugar, anything like that. But that on top of the ham would be very, very good. Then I got some pork rinds. And you need to watch pork rinds because they can have 
sugars and maltodextrose and all of these other ingredients. But this one just has fried pork skin, salt, and it does say natural smoke flavor, which I don't think is a problem, but let me know in the comment section if you agree with me or you have some other information that I don't have. But again, to make carnivores sustainable, don't feel like every item you have to eat has to be totally clean. Just do the best you can to incorporate the carnivore into your lifestyle. You can tighten up as you go along. And I actually bought this cheese dip to go with these, and this is phenomenal. Um, this is the Alouette Toasted Everything Soft Spreadable Cheese Dip. And I tried both the pork rinds and the cheese dip in my car after I got out from Aldi's. I got just a lot of things that we can eat and enjoy for snacks because since Alan's a carnivore, I really need to make sure he's well fed and he loves to snack. Let me show you something I'm doing in the car right now, which I'm really hungry. So I'll try it and tell you what I think. Okay, this is the Alouette Toasted Everything Soft Spreadable Cheese Spread. And we're not going to be totally, totally religious about carnivore because there are some, some seeds in there and that kind of thing, but I really don't care. And these are the pork rinds that I got from Aldi and they just have pork, salt, and water. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one for you. I'm just gonna dip it in here. Supposedly this is really good. This is like cheese. Okay, so there is a bite. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is so good. What a great carnivore snack. Alan's gonna be just delighted. And I will tell you that is super yummy. And another tip I have is to designate, we have three little drawers in our refrigerator and the top one I designated to snacks. And I don't have hard boiled eggs in there right now, but I intend to add those. I don't love them, but Alan does. If he has a snack drawer, he could just go there whenever he's hungry and he'll know there's something for him to eat. Another snack I picked up at Aldi's is the Zero Sugar Sims Original Smoked Sausages. I don't like these as well as my husband does, but we used to get a big brand from Costco, which had a lot of unclean ingredients in it. This one really has very clean ingredients, I would say, and he will really enjoy this. Now let me get into the things I purchased from Walmart. And the first was this wonderful Angus, which is their top level of brand. This is their top brand, the Angus and the Black Tray. This is a thin ribeye steak. I got two of them for $13.50. Alan does not like beef but maybe one of those nights when we're going through those ham slices, I will make myself a ribeye in my cast iron pan and he will eat that ham. Looking forward to that. Then I got a huge chub pack at Walmart and, and I won't take it out of the chub pack, but this is a, well, I'll take it out. This is a chub pack of ground beef and it is very fatty. It is 73% lean, 27% fat, almost 30% fat which on the carnivore diet, it is high protein, but it is also high fat, and so this will be wonderful. And also these chub packs are very economical, which is a great bonus. Now, another snack item that I purchased from Walmart is this great value spring string cheese, I can't say it. And look at these cheeses. They're actually a mix of probably mozzarella, yes, mozzarella, and some yellow cheese. I, I don't know what that is, but probably cheddar cheese. But those are string cheese sticks, and I know Alan will love those. And then to make my ground beef tacos in the cheese shells even better, I got this taco blend shredded cheese from Walmart. We will use this up because really, I don't mind when I have a good recipe like tacos, something like that, I don't mind eating it multiple nights and we'll freeze what we're not going to use maybe in this next week. And then I also purchased this Hillshire Farm oven roasted turkey breast. And quite honestly, my son is coming in tonight from Grand Rapids. My, my mother-in-law Darlene has her 90th birthday tomorrow. So I'm so happy Colin is coming in. And I really couldn't read the ingredients on the back. It makes me mad. They, they've got them inside this and you can't see them. But I don't know how clean this is but this will work at a pinch because my son loves to eat sandwiches with turkey and gluten-free bread. And if you wanted to do this more carnivore style, you could wrap it in one of those cheese wraps. They also have egg wraps, but I haven't tried them yet. Now, one of the most important carnivore snacks that I absolutely love is pork rinds. And you saw me eating those in the car after Aldi. 
but I did watch Laura Spath, or Spath, I don't know, her channel, and she talked about the pork rinds that you can buy at Walmart and which were good for which things. And this one, this one, was particularly interesting to me. This is the Max brand. In fact, all of these are the Max brand. She says they're a very clean brand, which they appear to be. And these are their golden cracklins, and they're a little more expensive than the plain pork rinds, but the advantage to this, she says, is that they taste like popcorn. Maybe I'll try one. My husband, my husband, before he started at Carnivore, almost every night would sit down with a huge bowl of popcorn. And so he was very excited when Laura mentioned that these are good replacements for popcorn. I'll go ahead and try them. Mmm. Wow, those are super crunchy. I really do like them. Now, Laura also said that these Max original pork rinds were great. For instance, when you make a taco bowl, you like to use something to dip in the, the taco meat and just dip it up. And she said these were very good for that. And these are the Max brand. And then I noticed that for some reason, Max has an original pork cracklins and an original chicaronis. <laughs> and they look a little bit different. And she didn't say anything about this difference but I'm going to try them and in a future video, I'll tell you which one is better and what I think they're useful for. Now, the last one I got, I got three Max brands and this one is a Baconettes brand and it is very clean too, just pork skins and salt. And so basically I'm going to be doing a, a taste test. Well, let me do it right now. These are the Baconettes. These are the original Chicaronis from Max. Actually, I'll do all three. These are the pork cracklings from that. So let's see how they taste. I'm really not hungry right now, but I'll do a little bit of this. I'll take a little bit of this. This is the pork cracklings. Okay, those are super, super crunchy, just like the other pork cracklings. So I guess that's the trick there. Those are super crunchy. Now I'm going to try just the original mat. Is it open? Okay, finally, let me find a real small one. Okay, and these are just very light looking. Okay, those taste about like nothing. They're not super crunchy, but they would not interfere with the taste of a dip if you had a garlic cheese dip or a sour cream based dip. These would be perfect for that, and that is exactly what Laura said, or for dipping into a taco bowl. Now, this one is the Baconettes brand, and so we're going to see if it tastes better than the Max original. So that's their original. And Max had a ton of different types of pork rinds and Baconettes just had this one. Okay, now that one's interesting because <clears throat> in terms, they're a little dry, because in terms of crunch, it's right between the Max original and the Max pork cracklins. I like this, you know, it doesn't really bother me either way, but I really think if you want something that you can use with, you know, sour cream dip, cheese dip, I would go with the Max Original. Well, that was a look at what I'm doing to make the carnivore lifestyle more sustainable, and so far so good. Alan is really liking it so far. We've done it about two weeks. We're having a wide variety of foods. One last tip I can give you is, he missed the idea of having more than one food on his plate because you know, normally you'll have you know, a meat dish and some vegetables and maybe a piece of bread. He always had bread at every meal. So now what I'd like to do is like, if we do ham, I'd give him ham on one part of the plate and maybe chicken wings or something on the other. So that way he gets the feeling that he's eating much more. And if you're a dessert person, you, you ought to have a separate dessert and cheese is wonderful for that. Let me find this. Yes, I got this from Costco and uh, they are absolutely wonderful. It is actually a three pack of this Borson cream cheese. It's not cream cheese, it's just Borson cheese. And I tried this one yesterday with some pork rinds. Oh, MG, it was so wonderful. This is the garlic and fine herbs. It was incredible. And that would make a great dessert or a piece of cheddar cheese, some string cheese, something like that. Well, thank you for being with me on my journey as an imperfect carnivore to really get things new and improved in terms of my carnivore experience. It has been wonderful having Alan on board. And let me know in the comments section if you would like to see his 30-day results and what his thoughts are. 
because he promised me 30 days to try it out and he's being very religious about it. But if he doesn't like it, he's going to go back to his normal standard American diet and I'll be alone in carnivore again, which in this household is pretty difficult for me. Well, thank you for watching my video and I can't wait to see you in my next one.